An Indianapolis mother now is collecting mementos from Hoosiers for a national gun violence memorial. And that memorial is a powerful tribute that recently opened in Washington. Our Jenny Runovich shows us tonight how it makes trauma from guns very personal. The fighter, and right now, we have the fight of our life in front of us. Seven years ago, Deandra's family was forever changed by gun violence. Her son, Dre, an honor student and basketball player, got critically injured by a stray bullet fired into a friend's birthday party. You okay? Oh, something hurting. He can't walk, can't talk, became a nonverbal quadriplegic at age 13. Dre is, you know, to me, the definition of a survivor. He's really living through, you know, having his life so uh, turned upside down by gun violence. Dre turns 21 this weekend, and as part of the annual basketball tournament celebrating his survival, Dre's mom is honoring all Hoosiers affected by gun violence. This will allow an opportunity to, uh, to allow the world to see that piece of your heart. She's collecting mementos of lost loved ones and survivors for the National Gun Violence Memorial Project in Washington. It's a peaceful and personal space that just opened this year. 700 glass bricks represent the number of people killed killed by guns in the U.S. each week. Each brick holds an object, a memory of a victim. It's very heart-wrenching that so many people will be a part of it, but what a what an honor to, you know, have our stories elevated in this way. This Sunday, families can bring an artifact to Dre's tournament to loan or give as a permanent part of the memorial. The tributes make trauma personal for visitors. That's absolutely what I'm hoping that'll happen. Maybe they'll see a hat and know that it's not covering a head anymore or shirt and know that it's not covering a body anymore. So much happens, you know, after the gun leaves its chamber and it impacts a family. And this memorial will just be an amazing, amazing tribute to what that so much more is like. Deandra says Dre's brick will hold something about basketball. I just want them to know how amazing my son was and still is. So people see his spirit, his spark, that he's more than a statistic. The remembrance items will be collected Sunday at the Play for Dre celebration that's at Forest Manor Middle School. You do need to pre-register if you're bringing an item for that memorial, and we've got a link for you right now on WTHR.com.